Yo, what's up guys, Tijiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm back with a new Pro vs Pro and we're gonna be playing against the best player in the world. I don't think he needs much introduction, Mohamed Light. I think everyone knows him if you play Clash Royale, of course. We're gonna be playing a best of five, no specific rules. Whoever wins three matches wins the best of five. So I would say let's just open to the first match. We already wasted him good luck and we're gonna be starting off with this Mortar Miner deck, which I've been practicing and playing quite a bit recently. I feel like it's probably one of my best decks in the current meta. So let's see if it works against Muhammad Light as well. I feel like Muhammad pretty much plays any deck, especially um, yeah, minor cycle decks. Quick cycle decks, I would say is like his, I guess, special um, deck, but I guess he yeah pretty much plays anything. So let's see what he's gonna be running. For the first match, looks like he's still picking deck, so I will see you guys soon with the first match. Okay guys, perfect, looks like Mohamed is ready for the first game. So as I said, it's gonna be a best of five. Whoever wins three matches wins today's best of five. So let's give him a good luck and let's start off right away with a minor to the safe spot. So let's see what he's gonna be running. Oh, bowler, okay. Bowler could be a lot of things, but I think recently in um, yeah this meta, pretty much always gonna be Electro Giant. Maybe sometimes another deck, but I think pretty much None of the 10 times is gonna be E-Giant. So let's see if it's gonna be E-Giant or maybe some other version. Looks like he does have the Little Prince. I think the bowler will not get to the tower. Yeah, there you go. He does go with E-Giant, so well played by him. I think we can go with Ice Spirit here and then Guards um, to defend his Little Prince. Nice, perfect. He probably thought that we were gonna ability, so we didn't. Instead, I prefer to defend first and then here we can go Minions on top of the Knight to be able to clean up his um, yeah Knight and then Counter Push. Knowing that he doesn't have Electro Giant in Cycle, knowing that he doesn't have anything good in Cycle, we're actually gonna Miner the back of the tower, and then uh, we're gonna force out quite a bit of Elixir to defend the minions. In this case, he had to tank with a cannon and also went with Barbara on defense. So, so far, pretty much equal on damage. He is leading by four HP, but so far, yeah, nothing much happened to be honest. Okay, so yeah, as I said, after seeing Border, I was already thinking about E-Giant. It is indeed gonna be Electro Giant. He's still missing the Nado. He also has Lightning in there. And then besides that, he already showed all the remaining cards. So this is gonna be an interesting matchup. I feel like sometimes I win it. And then sometimes it can uh, it gets rough with a good push with the Lightning and stuff. So let's see what we can do here. I think I'm gonna pop the ability left side. Even though he has Bowler there, I just wanna get DPS down the Bowler as much as we can. And then I'm also gonna poison the left side tower plus the Little Prince and then also take down the Bowler. So yeah, decent situation I would say. Okay, he does go with E-Giant. Um, I don't think we should pressure here. I think we yeah, are down a bit on Elixir, even though we can force out some Elixir this way. So let's see, let's cycle minions and then see what he's gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna Mortar. He might already like cycle a Knight towards the left side, so then it doesn't really make sense to go with... Um, oh, he instantly goes with Lightning. Okay, let's go Little Prince here. Let's pop the ability ASAP because he might... Yeah, I was about to say that. He might go with a, um, a, a Nado. Excuse me, I can't even talk. Drag the focus and also commentate against the best player in the world. Isn't easy to win us, but let's see. So far, we're actually not um, yeah, that down on damage. I definitely think we should go into the left side lane, though. I don't think we want to um, just play into the same lane. Him having Bowler and having all the cards. Um, yeah, like good counter push cards. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here. Let's go Little Prince. Looks like he does go with the Knight, so we'll play by him. And then I guess we can cycle a Minions here as well. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Let's go Guards here on the right side to prepare the defense. I'm gonna pop the ability. And then I'm actually gonna go with a High Mortar here. Okay, perfect. Let's go with Ice Spirit here on defense. Hopefully the Barbarian is gonna... Okay, yeah, the Barbarian will go down. He does go with a nice Bowler. Bowler is getting a lot of value to be honest. We also need to go with guards to defend this E-Giant. Then we're gonna go with a poison here on defense. Do we still need to spend something else? Okay, he goes with another E-Giant at the bridge. Let's go with a Mortar here on defense. He's definitely gonna go with Lightning as soon as he has 6 Elixir. So let's go with Little Prince here. Um, nice, perfect. Let's go with Ice Spirit as well. And let's then go with guards. Hopefully the Little Prince Tower plus the guards are gonna be enough to defend it. A really good nato by him. E-Giant did get quite a bit of damage. Okay, let's see if we can take advantage of this Little Prince, guys. Let's go with ability. Before it crosses the bridge, let's then go with minor minions towards the tower. And then I'm also gonna lock here just to um, yeah, kill the Barbarian and to DPS down this bowler as soon as possible. Okay, look at the minions. We can go with a poison here left side. Good amount of chip damage. One minion actually locks onto the tower. So with that damage, we're almost um, get yeah, equal on damage again. And I think here we can keep it the pressure. Okay, he does know. He did prepare the cannon on defense. Well played by him. Let's go with minions. Let's go with a miner. I'm also gonna lock the left side just to be annoying. Just to, yeah, maybe get the minions on top of the tower. Okay, we're leading with damage right now. Good amount of pressure on the left side. I'm gonna keep up the pressure. I'm gonna go with Little Prince. I'm gonna go with guards here as well. Knowing that he doesn't have bowler, um, I think this push should be pretty annoying for him. Perfect, let's poison as well. I'm just trying to, yeah, force out a lot of elixir and this way we can defend cheap the bowler. 
Okay, he did defend that very well. Oh my god, this is gonna be close. He's probably gonna lightning anytime soon. So we're gonna have to yeah, somehow cycle back to another mortar. Okay, nice. Let's set up a mortar here. Hopefully it pulls. Border, no! Oh my god, it didn't pull. No, that's unfortunate. It didn't end up pulling the E-Giant. E-Giant is getting... Nah, that's gonna be game. If the E-Giant uh, got pulled there, I think we would have actually been able to win. But I think with that... Uh, yeah, nah, this is gonna be impossible to defend. Let's at least try, but even if we... Yeah, end up defending. We still need to get a lot of damage towards the tower. Oh, that's so unfortunate, guys. Really well played by Mohamed. Let's give him a good game. That was such a good um, yeah, game, in my opinion. To start off the best of five, even though we ended up losing, I like how we played. If the Mortar there pulled, I don't know if we would have been able to win, but at least we wouldn't have taken so much damage with the E-Giant. So very, very well played to Mohamed. And we're 1-0. No, we're 0-1 right now in this best of five. So let's prepare the second game. I didn't really prepare many decks, to be honest. I don't really know what to play here i would like to maybe play a cycle deck again or maybe try to counter his cycle deck because i feel like he might play a cycle deck after using electro giant i don't think muhammad is thinking too much about this but at least try to yeah get a decent matchup here so we can go with this mega knight evil bats archer queen minor deck i feel like this deck does pretty decent against cycle decks and muhammad light is mainly known for playing cycle decks like minor poison like hawk rider i feel like even though he might play minor poison he might still be that because he is the best player in the world but let us at least try to yeah, get a decent matchup and see what we can do with this Mega Knight deck. So yeah, looks like he is ready. Let's hop into the second match right away and let's see what we can do. Okay, so let's start off with giving um, yeah, good luck, of course. Big shout out to Mohammed, by the way. I think the last time we did a best of five was quite a long time ago. And of course, coming on um, yeah, to the channel, making time to play a best of five against us is very much appreciated. So big shout out to him. Okay, looks like he might be playing cycle deck he's using skellies he's using lock so this is probably gonna be some kind of uh yeah cycle deck okay looks like he does have firecracker so well played by him let's actually go archer queen here and let's then go with um ghost okay perfect we activate the king tower hawk rider did get two shots and the firecracker is actually locked onto the ghost afterwards that's kind of unfortunate but i think against hawk rider we have a decent matchup if we play this well let's see let's go with ability right away let's then go with a miner here on the back of the tower nice the lock doesn't kill it so he might have to spend something else in this case he's gonna spend the ice spirit to fully kill our queen and we did get a little bit of chip damage but he got a lot of damage actually with the hawk rider yeah as i said he got two shots and then also the firecracker got a lot of damage okay let's go bets here we force out an ability i don't think we need to defend the mighty miner on the left side to be honest and i kind of want to pressure here with prince plus mega knight i don't know okay nice perfect timing this is gonna be very good i'm gonna let the hawk rider be I think that might only get one shot. Okay, it did get, uh, it does get two shots. But I think here we can go with Mega Knight and then we can arrow the Firecracker as soon as we can. Okay, let's go arrows now. Perfect. And then hopefully he doesn't cycle back to a Mighty Miner. He does have a very quick cycle. Oh, he did cycle back to it. Oh my god, that was such a good defense by him. I feel like, or I was like, okay, I don't think he can defend this well. But he made it look so easily to defend that Mega Knight Miner push. Or excuse me, that Mega Knight Prince push. Okay, we do have Miner available here. We might be able to get something going with um, the Evo Bats. I'm gonna Wallbreakers just to make sure that he can't get the Mighty Miner Bomb on Tower. And then this is kind of scary because we know that he has the Evo Bats. So I feel like we might have to yeah, just cycle Arch Queen here in the back. And then be ready for a potential Firecracker at the bridge here. Okay, let's see. Let's go Prince here in the back as well. Looks like he just sets up for defense. So he's not even trying to yeah, pressure us in any way possible right now. Okay, let's go Mega Knight, and then I'm gonna pop the ability early on. Okay, awesome. Nice, it does take it down. Oh my god, this is pretty good for us, I would say. Okay, I'm gonna arrows here. Take down the Mighty Miner as soon as possible. Perfect, Mega Knight is still quite healthy. We can go Evil Bats at the bridge here. He does go with a Hawk Rider to, yeah, distract everything. In the meantime, he also goes with Skeletons with the Prince. Oh my god, I don't know how he does it. Like, look at all the pressure we were applying. And then he still somehow makes it look so easy to defend um, that yeah, Mega Knight Prince push with the Evo Bats. And I don't know what else we had there. Okay, so this is still winnable, guys. But yeah, as you guys can see, he's doing perfect defenses. We can't really break through, to be honest. So let's see. Oh, the Firecracker even gets a shot. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna arrows here on top. I'm gonna then afterwards pop the ability whenever he um, yeah, goes with Mighty Miner. And then I'm gonna go Miner plus Bats here. Okay, perfect. He goes Hawk Rider. Wait, this is maybe a good moment to pressure a little bit on both lanes. Oh, that's unfortunate. He actually went with um, Mighty Miner ability, so the Ghost was kind of a waste. Yeah, the Tree Elixir was kind of thrown away. And then, yeah, I don't know what we can do to be honest, guys. Like, what is even... Or like, what can I even do here to break through? So I'm gonna Miner here. I'm gonna... 
Mega Knight up high, he does go with Cracker. We can get nice arrows here at least. Hawk Rider doesn't make it to the tower, but is this still winnable? Oh, the Firecracker still gets a shot. Wow, that's so unlucky. Okay, I don't know guys. One minute, 20 seconds left. He's definitely gonna try and go Hawk Rider sometime soon. So I'm gonna go Wallbreakers here at the bridge to try and block it. Nice. He did get the block, but then he uh, yeah, still goes with Firecracker and I think the Hawk Rider, yeah, the Hawk Rider does get a shot. So that's gonna be good game. I don't know, man. Like, I was thinking to kind of snipe Psycho decks with this Mega Knight deck. I was like, okay, he's mainly known for Mining decks. He's mainly known for Hawk Rider decks. Let me try and get a decent matchup here with this Mega Knight deck. But I got completely destroyed. I don't know what to... Yeah, I don't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. That was such a good um, gameplay by him. So, yeah, if you guys want to know how to beat Mega Knight with this Hawk Rider deck, definitely watch that replay multiple times because I feel like he played that flawless. So we're pretty much in the worst possible situation in the best of five, currently down 0-2. So if we lose the next match, we're already um, yeah, over, like we lost the best of five and now it's our turn to maybe make a potential comeback. So I'm thinking about what deck I could run. I kind of want to play Hawk Rider myself after seeing that gameplay, but I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna run this version with the E Spirit and the Goblins. I think it's a version I've been practicing a little bit more. He used it with the Ice Spirit plus Skeletons, which I guess cycles a little bit quicker, but I like E Spirit in this deck because most of the times people activate the King Tower with the Firecracker, anyways, and I feel like Goblins are a little bit more solid against some cards, like for example, Miner to have a Miner catch and some other matchups. I feel like Goblins just help a little bit more to, yeah, also apply pressure offensively. So let's hop into the next match, guys. Could be the last match if we end up losing this one. Mohamed beat us 3-0. And then if we win, we're still alive. And we can still maybe make the comeback. So let's give him the good luck right away. Let's see what he's going to be doing. I kind of want to start off aggressively with the Hawk Rider here. So let's go Hawk Rider right away at the bridge. Let's see what he's going to be playing. Okay, he has minions. Minions could be um, maybe the Mortar deck we run. Okay, he does go with his... Oh, yes. Wait, what is he running? Minions, arrows, miner. Let's go with a Mighty Bomb here to kill the minions because this way, um, yeah, the minions don't DPS it down that much. And then I think he might still have to respond with some elixir on the right side because the Mighty Miner is still quite healthy. Wait, what is this deck, guys? He has Miner, he has minions. I'm so confused here. Okay, I'm gonna cycle E Spirit left side. I'm gonna go with a Lock. Okay, E Spirit doesn't jump on top of the tower. And then. I'm so confused. He has Little Prince, he has. I think it's like maybe a mortar like spam deck. I have no idea actually. He goes with his miner. Let's go with goblins up high. Let's go with a mighty miner here to DPS down his little prince. And then I'm gonna go firecracker here off to the side to help kill those skelly drags. So I'm actually really confused. I have no idea what his win condition is gonna be. Or is it just gonna be like... Um, okay, he does have the evo. Yeah, I think it might be like a mortar deck, right? I think it should be like a mortar deck. Okay, really good pressure by him with the Skelly Drags. We don't really have anything to deal with the Skelly Drags. I guess he knows, so that's why he plays them so aggressively here at the bridge. And then we do need to be careful because he already cycled two Skeletons. So the next Skeletons he's going to have um, yeah, available are going to be the Evo Skellies. I'm actually curious to see what is his Hawk counter. Is he going to have Mortar? I feel like it might be a Mortar like spammy deck. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. It is going to be Mortar. Let's see if we can get the timing against the Mortar. No, we actually mistimed it. I tried to activate the King Tower. We end up taking a hit on the tower, so that's horrible. We'll take a lot of damage from that. Okay, let's see though. I think we might be able to still beat this. Especially if we take advantage of his uh, or of our evil firecracker. If I'm not mistaken, his only spell is gonna be... Okay, let's activate the bomb here. Nice. If I'm not wrong, his only spell is gonna be um, arrows. So let's try to take advantage of the arrows. Okay, I'm gonna go firecracker here. Let's actually switch lanes. He does go with the arrows. Let's go with Hawk Rider offensively with the Earthquake for the Mortar. Nice. Let's go with the E-Spirit. Hopefully it doesn't target the Firecracker. It looks like it does. And then, yeah, this is going to be a rough one. Let's see. Let's go with Lock right away. Let's go with Goblins as well. Let's go with Mighty Miner up high here. Let's then go with the ability. He does go with the arrows. Okay, so we're down a lot of damage. Let's see. Let's go Firecracker here. Knowing that he doesn't have arrows, let's also go with Earthquake right away. Let's then go with... Um, or let's Hawk Rider. Let's then go with Earthquake right away. And then the Hawk Rider does get into the tower. Firecracker is also getting a bit of chip damage. So not too bad. But then at the same time, we're losing by so much damage. I feel like it's going to be hard to come back from this situation. But let's see. We are, of course, going to try it. Okay, let's go East Spirit here. Left side. He goes again with the arrows. We can go Mighty Miner up high here. And then, okay, he does go with the ability. I think I'm gonna go Hawk Rider here. I'm gonna take a bit of damage. Earthquake the right side. Perfect. And I think he has Evo Skellies, right? I think he's gonna Evo Skellies. Oh no, he doesn't have them yet. I thought he was gonna have Evo Skellies. Okay, Hawk Rider right side did get a shot though. 
Um, let's see. Let's set up a bomb tower here. Probably gonna go with a miner sometime soon. There you go. There's the miner. Let's go with goblins here at the bridge to distract everything while the bomb tower and the tower is getting um, yeah, rid of the troops. Well, the bomb tower is not really helping, but at least it's tanking. So yeah, I don't know guys, I feel like we can definitely win from this situation. Let's go with Earthquake here plus Hawk Rider. Nice push by him or nice defense by him. He didn't even use the mortar. Hawk Rider still gets one shot though. Okay, can we still come back here? I'm gonna bomb tower like that. Okay, oh that's so unfortunate. The Skelly Track actually got one shot on top of the... Um... No, I think we lost, right? I think we lost. Let's Earthquake as soon as possible on top of the mortar. We don't catch the miner. His little prince is still alive as well. Okay, we did defend it. Is the miner gonna take the tower? Yeah, I think it might take the tower on time. 96 HP. Let's firecracker here. The mortar. Yeah, he even has the mortar on defense. Nah, that was such a good game. I don't know what to say. Unfortunately, we did end up losing 0-3. I guess it was kind of expected. I would have liked to, yeah, put up a bigger fight. Really, really well played. Let's give him the GG's. Let me know in the comment section down below, by the way, guys, if you would like to see more Pro vs. Pro. I was thinking about making more, um, yeah, consistently videos against pro players of course if muhammad light is down for a revenge i would like to try um, and get my revenge in the near future and then maybe against some other players could be pro players could be youtubers i don't know i would love to play for example again in the past we've played against ian 77 against riley or any pro player let me know in the comment section down below that's gonna be it for today's video big shout out to muhammad even though he destroyed me very um yeah grateful for coming on to the channel and play this best of five so hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys did um or if you did please make sure to smack the like button if you're not subscribed to my channel feel free to subscribe and i hope to see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys